Wee. Look at that. Damn it, boy. Oh, that looks pretty. The camera just does not do it justice. It's kind of like, I think I can't. This requires a system. <laughs> Welcome to Texas Beard Adventures. I'm Brad Harrell, and today we're gonna be working on a 50 inch light bar, a cheap Amazon light bar, turning it into a badass Texas flag light bar. And it's gonna be sweet. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you know when I post new videos. All right. So what we got here is we got ourselves a cheap Amazon light bar. Got, I've already removed the plexiglass here. And what it has is it has these two, it's got these rubber gaskets that sit in the channel. And then it has these, these are little T, bra T brackets. You see the end of it there, it's kind of like a, shaped like a T. It's marred up right there on the end because that's where I was hitting it with the screwdriver. And what I did was, is I got my screwdriver and I put it right here and I just banged that out. And then that, that plexiglass, it just pulls right out once you get both sides of the, um, of the retainer, T-bracket retainer out. So I've taken that out. I got my Scotch-Brite, okay? Got a piece of Scotch-Brite. And I've roughed up the edges all on the reflector. And then I've done this on one other light bar. It wasn't this big. So the other one was a 20 inch, this is a 50 inch. And you could get these at Amazon for about um, 60 bucks, something like that. I'll put the link um, down below so y'all can go check out this light bar. If you wanna go buy it, you can use my link to go do so. Um, these are nickels and the nickels cover the hole just perfectly, watch this. Perfect. So. I used a nickel and I covered all these holes. This is gonna be the blue side up to the tape. And this is one, two, three, four, five sections. We got two that are separate, uh, like smaller individual ones. And it is roughly 16 inches long, this part. So I'm gonna do this in blue and then I'll do this part here in red and white and um yeah it's gonna turn out really nice I, I really like the look of these the there's one manufacturer out there that you can get um these already made and they're really nice but i can't afford them because it's like a thousand bucks for a 50 inch light bar with the texas flag theme and then they also have what's nice about those is it's a two two light system where you have uh, the main beam light, which is your, you know, like high beam LEDs. And then there's a backlit feature on the LED and they are the same color as, you know, so it would be red, white, and blue. You have blue LEDs over here and then you have like white LEDs here and red down here. And you can turn that on and it just glows in the back of the, the light. So it's pretty neat. But anyway, mine doesn't have that feature. This is a Rust-Oleum wood, metal, and plastic deep blue. Um, two times ultra cover. I'll put the link down below and um, you can check out the three shades of paint that I use on this and go purchase them through Amazon. let that dry up all right so it has been a couple of hours and the blue is dry now <clears throat> i got the nickels and i just scraped it off with my finger see how it's all blue 
you just pry it off and it'll let loose. That's the, what it looks like there. Okay. It's a little, some places it's got a little bit of kind of the paint goes up, but I've uh, started putting the nickels on this side. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to finish taping this off on the, on the line in the middle and the top is gonna be white. And then about, of course the bottom is gonna be red. So I'm gonna finish taping this off and then I'm gonna spray it and um, I'll have to disconnect it from the Suzuki, the wiring. I'll have to, I'll have to cut the, the red, the power, and I'll just undo the, the ground. So that way I can go ahead and uh, take this off, set it in red over there. Cause I gotta take this into town to get some muffler work done on it. I messed up. I should have went ahead and taped it first before I put the before I put all the nickels on there. Because now the nickels just want to move all over the place, and that's not what you want. You just want to follow that line, right? There's a kind of like a diamond in the middle. push down in the middle so that way it doesn't spread on you. I'm gonna replace all these. The nickel is just the right size for the holes on the reflectors. You want to make sure that you get both angles. You want to make sure you get this angle and this angle because if you can see, like right in here, on the other side of the nickel, it's chrome, still chrome. You got to make sure that you get both sides. Now we will go ahead and let that dry up and we'll come back and do the red. It's the same process as the white. Take this piece of tape, run it down the middle, and then put that, put the, the coins over these. I, I took the white ones off and put them over here because I was running out of coins. Um, the blue ones are still on. I taped this up because I noticed when I painted the white, I didn't have the blue taped and it ended up getting a bunch of white speckle overspray on it so I had to put the coins back on the blue and then blast it with a little bit more blue so I learned my lesson covered this up covered that up and the sucker will be ready to go it's, I can already see it drying I built one for um, Mark Carricker over there at Homemade Everything and uh, if you haven't checked out his channel go check it out he's battling cancer right now and um, it's a bad deal, but he's gonna make it through it. And um, yeah, I made I made him one. It was a 20 inch light bar, and this is a 50. So if it turns out okay, I want to make a couple more for. I want to make one for my work truck and my black truck. Well, Frankenstein the Fummins. Yeah, should be making Texas light bars for everything. Be awesome. All right, so <clears throat> I've got the light all cleaned up, ready to go. I've started lacing the lens is on here and I've got the lens on here. It's right here. And I'll tell you, I've got a knot here. This is for the gaskets. I've got this at the end. I'll tell you what that's about here in a minute. These are, you see the end, those are the rails that slip in, okay? In this channel, there's a channel right here at the end. The lens just sits in there, the gaskets go underneath. You can see that gasket right there underneath, the lens is right here, you can see it flopping. So, these were about 
to here, somewhere in there. So I pulled them, I tied them at the end. I started lacing these in here and I have put some three in one multi-purpose oil in this track right here, okay? And I've also sprayed this down the back side of this right here, right there, the T, you can see the T, okay? Sprayed this whole rail down with WD-40. You see it right there on the ground, two puddles. Because when you get it in, when you start getting it going without lube, it gets real tight. So I lubed it up, put some three-in-one oil in this channel here, and I'm hoping it's just gonna go ahead and slide like butter. Get this thing. Oh, one of the things that I wanted to show you was there was a couple of instances where the red had bled through because I did the white I did the blue first, the white second, and the red third. It was the last color I did was the red. And what happened was, is there were some instances where the tape was not stuck on there real good and the, the red bled through onto the white. So I got this, it's not ideal, it's all I had though. This uh, green scratch cloth. I got some white paint. I dabbed a on the end of it and then I went went along here and I just dab 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 in the places that needed to be dabbed and uh, I think it turned out pretty good turned out real nice Dropping it, dropping, let, letting the weight of the light kind of carry it through. Oh, yeah. There it is. Hear that thud at the end? All right, so this is the first time I've ever done this. So I'm, what I'm going to do going to go ahead and lop this off right here. Sweet. Oh boy. Look at that thing. Look at that. Oh man. So <clears throat> this particular light bar has got some gaskets on the end cap. The last light bar that I did this Texas flag theme on, it was a 20 inch light bar and I liked it better. I liked the design of the light better because it had um, screws all along here. And there was a gasket on the backside of it, unlike this gasket um, that held uh that was just behind it and i thought that was a better design that's the way one of my other light bars is but i like the look of this light bar better but getting it disassembled and getting it well getting it reassembled is not that bad but getting it disassembled was a pain in the took us it took me and Doug, a, a, a good while, just to make sure we didn't break anything and to get it all undone, because everything was very stiff. I mean, I've had this light bar for probably, shoot, if I had to guess, four or five years at least. And what happened was that it had condensation back behind the lens, and that condensation, I, I don't think it, well, I mean, it was water behind it, but what it was from was one time that I had, I was cleaning it and I had pressure washed it and um it, it it didn't it didn't 
take well to that. But up until that point, before I had pressure washed it, didn't have any condensation behind it. So my, it just can't hold up to, it can hold up to rain, but it can't hold up to high, you know, like 2000 PSI, you know. But these, these other lights that have the drilled right here, they can hold up to that because I pressure washed my other ones and I've had no problems. So anyway, um, I'm gonna see about putting this thing back together, get it back on the blood wagon. And I'm excited. I am super stoked. I've been wanting to do this four years. All right, just went and got my three millimeter Allen wrench. Snug up this last bolt on this end cap. Make sure you got the uh, gaskets in there correctly. They just kind of snap in place underneath the end cap on the light bar on this style. Um, it's not rocket science, figure it out. All right guys, I did not find the bolt, but I found one that is the exact same size. It was one that I had taken off a while back. I don't know from what exactly, but it'll work. I found the infamous 10 millimeter socket. Let's see if it fits. Yep, fits. Snug that side up, my hand. Snug that side up. Woo-wee! Look at that. Damn it, boy. Oh, that looks pretty. The camera just does not do it justice. Oh man, that is a thing of beauty. I am beyond pleased with the outcome of this light bar. It is just unreal. I will put the link down below for all the products that I use in this video. Uh, the light bar, the paint, the Scotch Guard. I mean, just everything. I'm gonna put it down below. So do me a favor, go over to Amazon. If you want to purchase the, the products, go ahead and do so through the links that I provide. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so you know when I post new videos. Check me out on Instagram, at Texas Beard Adventures. Me and the wife and the kitties do all kinds of crazy stuff over there. And I'll catch you on the flip side. You dang hell, Billis. My number two? Yes. No. Lettuce, tomato, pickles, and onions? I want everybody on it. Everybody. Now, try to run, you dang Land Rover. How many vices do you have? Half a dozen, probably. <laughs> Oh. Way to go, Fred. Fourth and beer. Patrick. Ain't sitting too good. Stop <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> chicken! My chicken got loose. Hey, have you seen my chicken? 10% is really got me going. Is that it? DNR? <laughs> Alright, so What does that mean? Salt, pepper, garlic. Nobody knows what it means, but it's provocative and it gets the people going. Ow! Oh, pretty bird. Pretty bird. I'm gonna eat you with jalapeno in the middle and wrapped with bacon. Oh, pretty bird.